Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Casey. I am the Rockstar Flipper. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it is Wednesday afternoon slash evening, a little past uh, dinner time here on the East Coast. I am in Florida for those of you that are new to the channel, so we're on East Coast time. Um, I'm going to do a haul video for you guys tonight. Went to the Goodwill Outlet bin stores. For those of you that don't know what the Goodwill outlets are, I get a lot of questions about those. They are different from the Goodwill retail stores in that you buy merchandise by the pound. Typically they are placed into big bins that look like the USPS bins or on blue tabletop bins where you dig through the items, you find items you like and they are weighed and you pay. At my particular bin stores, the clothing is $1.49 a pound, the home goods is 60 cents a pound, books are 50 cents a pound, and purses are 60 cents a pound as well. Um, purses and bags. There is another Goodwill outlet store a little ways away that is 99 cents a pound for clothes, uh, but it doesn't have as good a quality of clothes, so I'd rather pay a little more to get better quality. Um, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys the haul that I picked up today, but I want to remind everybody, and it is also on my channel if you see it, tomorrow's live event is 9 p.m. It's a video with Megan Reed. She is a large eBay seller. Um, she has grown uh, immensely this year. I believe in January she started uh, at zero. She's now up to last I heard five or six thousand a month um, in profit or sales at least. I don't. Uh, her profit's very good because her cost of goods is low. Um, so she's like 80, 90 percent profit anyways. But uh, she's a, a main uh, specializing in women's clothing that she buys from all of her sources. Um, she does a really phenomenal job at titles, keywords, and listings. Um, she's very good at sourcing. She knows brands. Um, I look at her channel, um, which I know she hates because people are on this kick of don't look at my eBay channel because if you're not buying anything, it hurts search ranking, which may or may not be true. I, I believe it is true, but I don't think it hurts that much. Um, there is a great app if you want to look at eBay um, sellers' stores without hurting their search ranking. It's called Completely. It does cost money. I think it's like seven bucks, but it's a way that you can see a lot of great stats about a lot of great eBay sellers that you might follow. You can see their average sale price, their average sale through rates. You can see a lot of information about eBay sellers. So check that app out completely. But um, with that being said, I have scheduled a live event with her tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. on the West Coast, which is where she is in California. Uh, excited to have her on because she knows a lot about clothing that I don't know. I have learned a lot from her, from her store, and a lot of the brands that I see her post. She's also active on social media. I will let her decide if she wants to share her links. I know some people do, some people do not, so I will totally leave that up to anybody that's on my channel if they feel comfortable enough to leave links to their social media or their stores or anything. Otherwise, please, guys and girls, do not pressure them into leaving links. Um, for those of you that asked about the stuffed animal lady at the Goodwill bin stores, um, she's an older lady. She did not want to share her eBay store. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you that. However, I am looking at a few other plush sellers that are big plush sellers that I once I find them again, um, I had them the other night. Now I can't find them. I, I got to go through my history. Uh, they're doing thousands of dollars a month in plush stuffed animals on eBay. I will share their store names so you guys can take a look at them, just like I did with the necktie guy that's selling hundreds of ties a day. Um, so that's that. Um, with that being said, that's everything I've got. Friday is Q&A Friday. Make sure you put comments, questions down in the uh, comment box or email them, however you guys want to send them. I answer everything directly. I respond to all comments. But I take some of those and I drop them into Friday night's Q&A. And you can also ask me questions live on Q&A Friday. So let's end all this jibber jabber and jump to the important part. That would be the haul video. Okay, so to jump off on this, the, this haul video I have for you guys, I don't buy a lot of shoes. I never have. They're kind of expensive to ship. I haven't had a lot of good, good luck with them. The J-Lo shoes sold well, some kids' shoes. But I did pick up three pair of shoes um, at the bins. And I believe they cost me a total of like five or six dollars for both or for all three of them. Uh, these are um, Moda Spana. It's Moda M O D A, and they're they're like a high heel. They're glitter. If you guys can see those, grab the other one that goes with it here. Which one is it? Uh, there it is. So there's the pair, right there. These were a couple bucks, probably like two three dollars by weight. Um, they are a size, I believe they're a size 11. They're size 11. 
Um, I know they're bigger, but they're go out. They're glittery. I don't know if you can see that they're glittery. I don't know. I think they're going to be, you know, a $20 pair of shoes. We'll see. They're cute. They're in really great shape. They're glittery. Somebody might want them to go out for a club night. I got these gigantic pair of boots. They zip up. They've got a strap buckle on them. Uh, I think they're good. These were, I believe these are like a size 10. 9 or 10. These are 9. Women's 9. So, got these. These are awesome. Going to try to sell those. I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks. Women's boots. Uh, brand on those, not positive. There is no brand written on them. I got to be honest with you. I couldn't find the brand. Uh, I'll have to look later. They're made in China. They're just some, but I think somebody will like them. The last one are the ones I'm kind of excited about. These are Lulu Townsend, which I looked up the brand. They weren't super, super popular. They're another high heel. They're super high. These, what are these, like four inch, five inch heels here? This is a size, I believe these are eights or nines. These are nines as well. And uh, they're glittery. Another high heel. Again, I think I'm going to get 50 or 60 bucks out of net out of all the shoes that I paid like six bucks for. So I don't usually buy shoes, but I gave them a shot this time. We'll see. Uh, picked these up by weight. This was like uh, two pounds. This is like a dollar fifty, two bucks. It's mine trap. It's complete. I counted the cards. Um, it sells for like sixteen to eighteen bucks used. Uh, net about ten to eleven. So you're talking about like an eight to nine dollar profit. However, I really like it. So this is going to be one of those rare instances. I told you guys I don't keep stuff, but I'm going to keep this. I like mine trap. I believe I had this years ago, but now I'm old enough to understand it. So I'm going to keep mine trap. I think this whole haul was like twenty seven dollars. Um, I thought this was cute. I don't know if it's going to sell. It still has the tag, the original tag on it, but it's definitely used. It's got some wear on it. I think it's cool. It's a little Raggedy Ann style RN nurse's doll. I think she's cute. I think some nurse might buy her to stick her on a desk or put her in a children's ward of a hospital or maybe somebody just likes playing doctor, a little kid. I think it's awesome. It was like 60 cents, less than 60 cents, 50 cents. I'm going to try to sell it for 10 or 12 bucks. I like her. Sometimes I just pick items that I just think are cool. But we'll see what happens. This was probably like a quarter. Ariel, I've sold a couple Ariel stuffed animals. Always get eight or nine bucks for her. So net of five, paid a quarter for her. Uh, got a Super Mario Brothers insulated lunchbox. It needs a little TLC on the inside. We'll take some denatured alcohol or some magic eraser. We'll get the name off of it. And we'll sell it for $10 or $12. So pretty good. Probably about quarter quarter in cost, being that that was, a, that, that was under the bags and purses. Um, yep, grabbed some ties yesterday. We're going to try a new tactic with tie uh, sales. We're going to see if we can get the tie sales up. Um, I got a few ties yesterday. I got a Tasmanian Devil tie. This will sell. I sold another Taz tie. So... Probably paid two or three bucks for all the ties. Picked up about 15 or 20 of them at least. Um, an odd one. Somebody might want. One with dominoes on it. Kind of cool. So, got a pile of ties. I mean, this this might have been a dollar. I, I mean, I don't know. I think we got some more ties down here too. Yeah, a couple more. Uh, this one, just Tommy Hilfiger. Regular. I sell Tommy ties from time to time. Just depends. Um... Let's see what else we got down here. Oh yeah, we got some other ties. A few more ties. So we'll add them to the pile. We'll keep getting them up, getting them listed. We keep selling ties, so we'll keep buying them. Um, these were cool. These are swimming trunks. I know summer's over, but uh, it's okay. It's called Spirit of America. It's not a brand you've ever heard of, but it's red, white, and blue. And they've kind of got like the uh, the beer bottle look to them and the beer can look. So I think it'll sell. I don't know. Cool pair of uh, of shorts. We got one of my favorite things to get, a dress for a little girl. This has got, um, it's Disney Princess from the Disney Store. This has got Tinkerbell on it. So it's a green Tinkerbell dress. These dress-up play costume dresses, I sell these all the time for 12 to $14. All the time, they're about $0.50 cents cost. This thing weighs half a pound, so $0.75 cents cost. Um, American Eagle. I don't buy too many coats, but I couldn't really let this pass. It's American Eagle. It's really nice. I think I'm going to get 15 out of it. Winter's coming, so that should help. 
we'll get that listed. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Haul videos are fun. I like going back through what I bought. Um, this is a baby gap, and it needs a little TLC as well, but it's in great shape. Winter again is coming up, so that's probably an eight to ten dollar sweater for a little baby. Baby Gap sells okay. I sell Baby Gap stuff pretty quick. I have good luck with it. So, um, Abercrombie and Fitch uh, polo for a girl. You guys know I sell a ton of that stuff for the eight to ten dollar range. Um, I believe this is Express. Yep, this is an Express shirt. I sell a lot of this. I mean, this is probably ten dollars, nine ninety nine. Um, let's see what else we got here. Quicksilver shirt. We'll have to peel the sticker off of it. Seven, eight bucks for that. Hollister shirt. It says Hawaii. It says, um, what's this one say? Oh, no, this is Hur Hurley. Hawaii Hurley. I'm sorry, not Hollister. Hurley. Hurley sells good for me. Eight or nine bucks for a tank top. T-shirts, tank tops, all that kind of stuff is that price. Just a plain polo jean shirt, but polo jean shirts sell kind of good. Eight bucks. You know, all this stuff adds up. And again, I've done the math for you guys about how $8 items add up when you have an employee listing them. This is Ralph Lauren Activewear, which this stuff with these these cool um, plaid and striped uh, necklines, they tend to send pretty, sell pretty well. So I think I can get $9.99 out of that. Remember, this is all stuff I paid anywhere from 50 to 50 cents to $1.50. Uh, another Abercrombie. I do really well with these button-down plaid shirts for girls. These sell pretty quick. I can almost always get $10 or $11 out of them. This is one I took a little shot at. It's probably Forever 21. Yep. Forever 21. I sell some of that stuff sometimes. This wasn't a particularly good haul day. Uh, it was slow, and I got there late, and I didn't spend a lot of money. 27 bucks. so... I'll do the math in a second for you guys. See what I got. Aeropostale glitter shirt, eight bucks, seven bucks, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Um, my mascara runs faster than you. <laughs> One of my cute novelty shirts. So, assuming let's just go by nets, not even gross. Well, I'll do gross and then we'll do net. So, let's just say seven bucks for the mascara. Seven, seven. I'm just gonna go low end. Eight. So that's twenty-one. That's twenty-nine. Um. 7, 36, 7 is 43, 7 is 50. The dress, let's just say 9. I know it'll go higher, but we're doing gross sales right now. 58. The shorts, 8, 66, 8, 74. Um, 7 is 81. The coat, let's say 8, puts us at 89. The stack of ties, there's probably 30 ties here, but I'll just say... Um, 10 bucks, so you know, 109. The two stuffed animals, 15 together, 124. Uh, another shirt, 7, 131. Another shirt, 138. 8 for the thing, 146. And then we've got, uh, Three pair of shoes. Let's just say they're sixty bucks for all of them. That's two oh six. And then two items I didn't show you guys. I gave them to my mom already. I got one of those Pooh Bear things you put around the kid, and then it has a leash goes over to your hand. That's like ten bucks. And then I got one of those harnesses for bigger dogs to strap them into a seatbelt of your car. Ten bucks. So you're talking about gross sales, lowballing it two fifty gross net. Uh, well, we know we lose twenty five percent. So you're talking about on two fifty losing. Um, you know, whatever, 60 but You're talking about netting around 175 after shipping fees and everything on the low ball end. 175 I was only in that store an hour. Um, it's going to take an hour or two to list all this stuff. So you're talking about maybe like, let's just say six hours of work. Um, and it, it's going to make $150 profit. I'm going to pay my employee $60, 10 bucks an hour, and I still get to make some money. Remember, that's low end, low ball. So that's how I, I come to these these numbers. You know, a lot of people say oh, it's exaggerated, it's this, that. It's really not. I lowballed all that, and the gross sales is $250. Even if I go down a little bit more to $225 and I net $150 on it, I'm paying my employee to do six hours of work, uh, you know, which six hours to list all that's way too long. She should do it in like four or five. But 
you know, I don't include my time because I'm being paid for my time. Whatever money we make on this stuff is my time. So, you know, even if I made a hundred bucks, uh, after paying her for, for five or six hours, you know, I make 150, 160. And if she makes 50 or 60, you know, I'm left with a hundred minus my cost of $25. You know, I make $75 for five hours. Well, multiply that times a week. There's a 40 hour work week for her. So she gets eight of those eight trips of those at $75 profit for me after her payroll. That means I could make 600 a week off of that employee, 2,400 a month, just off of their efforts after I go out and buy this stuff. My job is to source. I don't get paid a paycheck to go out and source. So whatever money we make on this stuff is what I'm being paid for going out to source. So my time is not counted in that. It's only counted in the gross sales minus the fees give us the net minus their payroll gives me the profit. And then that's what I get paid. So it's kind of a slow thing. I had a much better haul day the day before, which I still have that stuff, and I'll do a haul video on that. I forgot about it. I totally forgot I had that back, so we'll do another haul video. But that was a short, quick little haul. Shows you guys can go in there for an hour or two and make yourselves 100 150 bucks. For those of you that just get to do it once or twice a week, you could easily make three or $400 by just going in there, spending 50 bucks a week, and reselling the merchandise for 350 or 450 a week. So make sure you go in the bins, guys. Really, if you want to go... I recommend spending three or four hours there. If you live far away, spend the whole day. Buy as much as you can. Spend 50 bucks. Spend 60 bucks. My average day is $40, $50. So, you know, that's when we get up into my sales of four, five, six hundred gross. Uh, but if you're only going to spend $20 or $25, you can only expect to do about $250. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you uh, enjoyed some of the items I picked up. Hope you enjoy all the items I picked up. Um, I enjoyed hearing all your guys' um, scores and flips that you guys made. Always feel free to drop me a line with that stuff. Uh, we are over 8,000 subscribers now. We're getting closer to that 10,000 subscriber mark. And I think what I'm going to do at 10,000 subscribers, since I don't know what you guys like, what you guys want, what you guys want to give away, is maybe I'll do... Uh, I was going to do a $100 gift card, like an American Express or a, a Visa gift card. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe since we're all eBay and Amazoners, I'll do a $100 eBay gift card. But some of you like to shop on Amazon. So maybe I'll do a 50 eBay and a 50 Amazon. And maybe I'll have one winner for both, and I'll ship you one of each. Or maybe I'll have two separate winners. I don't know. We'll see. But that's for 10,000 subscribers. So at the rate I'm going, um, talking somewhere around the end of the month, right at the 1st of November, I should cross 10,000. Um, so pretty soon in one of the videos, keep watching guys. One of the videos, I will give you instructions on how to be entered. One of the things you must do in order to be entered to win anything is be subscribed to my channel. I'm going to pull winners for the 10,000 giveaway and any other future giveaways out of my subscriber pool. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you don't, you, you can't win. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and, uh, I'm going to give some other uh, instructions to be entered to uh, increase your chances of winning. Uh, I'll make a final decision on the pri uh, prize soon. Uh, you guys can leave in the comment section if you have ideas for prizes. If you prefer eBay or prefer Amazon, if all of you say an Amazon gift card, I'll just buy Amazon gift cards. Um, or if you guys want it split or if you just think Visa is better, leave it down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to end the video here. It's getting a little bit longer than I wanted. I wanted a quick one tonight. Uh, got some work to do. And uh, I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for the live show, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific time on the West Coast. We will see you then. Make sure to check it out, guys. You're going to learn a lot of good stuff from Megan. She's a great, great eBayer and a great lister. I'll see you then.